Hello, just a short video today to answer a question lots of people are asking me, which is what do I think about driverless cars? Now if you don't know about this, it was announced in the UK yesterday that we're going to be trialling driverless cars on the road. And what this means is it's simply a car that can drive itself. So you can get in, sit back, and you can do the, the moving, the steering, the braking, whatever, and it can completely drive itself. There's one thing I'd like to make, one point I'd like to make about this, which a lot of people are missing. And that is that you still need a driving license to have one of these cars. So when people are asking me, is he going to put me out of a job, am I worried about it? No, because you must have a driver license to have a driverless car. Now the, the term driverless is already becoming misleading. It, it does say this on the government report. Um, you still need to have a driver license. Not only that, but if you look on page 10 of the report where it talks about safety, and there's a link below, if you look in the description box, there's a link to the official government report. They are considering that you not only need to have a driver license to have one of these cars, but you need to have an advanced driver license. What's the point of that? <laughs> what is the point of having a car that can drive itself and it's all automated, but you've got to go through an advanced course, which is not easy because I've been through that myself. You've got to go and do your normal driving test, then an advanced driving test to have a car that can drive itself. Now, People also say it'll be great because there was somebody on the news yesterday I saw and he was saying it's going to be great because I've got epilepsy and they won't let me drive so finally I can get a car. Well sadly not because you need to have a driving licence and this is what many people don't seem to get. If you don't believe me have a look on the official government report. If you look in the description box below it's on page 7.4 um, and it says you'll need to have a driving licence to have a driverless car. How do they work then? Well, it's just a normal car, they still have a steering wheel, they still have pedals and you've got to be able to drive to drive one of them because they are going to go wrong. There are certain things they can't do just yet, like for example, I've heard, whether this is true or not I don't know, but I've heard that they're having big problems getting to work on roundabouts because roundabouts are so complicated. So with some of them at the moment, when you get to a roundabout, the car will just say, Something like you've got to take over and you've got to steer, brake, do the roundabout and then the car's going to drive itself. The biggest joke of all is they're saying it's going to make driving safer and less stressful. <laughs> Are you having a laugh? Can you imagine how stressful it would be to be driving along in a car, not touching the wheel, not touching the pedals, thinking, is he going to see that person crossing? Is he going to brake? 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 You've got to brake. <laughs> yeah, that'll probably have a crash. So yeah, I didn't plan that, that's just a crash down there. But yeah, you're going to be thinking, is he going to break, is he going to go, is he going to see that car, is he going to see the cat, is he going to see the dog, is he going to see the lights. It's going to be terrifying, you're going to be going along biting your nails every few seconds. Um, this brings me on to the next point. If there's a crash, whose fault is it? Your fault. You're the, you're the one to blame. It may be a driverless vehicle, but you are still to blame. If you're driving along thinking, oh, it's a driverless car, I just talk on my phone, you can't. You'll still be pulled over and given three points on your licence for driving on your phone. So, in my opinion, driverless cars are just pointless and stupid. Why would you want a driverless car? Yes, I could see the attraction of just so getting in and being driven somewhere, but if you want that, get a taxi, get a chauffeur. Yeah, a driverless car... I'm not worried about my job at all. If people think I'm saying all this to defend my job, I'm not, because, like I said, it won't make any difference. If they get them working, great. Yeah, I'll have one if it works. But there are so many problems to overcome, and there are so many years and years, if not decades, of, of trialling them. But if you want to see more on this, have a look at the official government report, which is in the description box below. Um, and I'll be doing more videos soon. Anyway, I've got to go out now and do a lesson. So see you soon for more videos.